So for today, we're going to be looking at the Guardian Games 2023 set. If you guys don't know, I ended up getting both of the armors from this year and last year. We're going to be doing the 2023 edition first, just because that's new. And then we'll be doing the 2022 edition uh, next later, most likely tomorrow, just because I don't like to put more than three, two videos out a day. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I really like this, these sets uh, specifically just because they're pretty easy to use in a lot of sets you guys will notice so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe i really do appreciate it other than that let's get into it so to start off we're going to be using the helmet i think this helmet is like the most hunter helmet i've seen in a long time which is why i'm using like a lot of the hunter uh just iconic looks for me at least because the luck sleeves are very iconic for the hunter we have that the sleeves that have the hunter logo which i think is super dope for the chest piece prodigal vest for me when i think of a hunter i think of this chest piece just because this is the chest piece that i wore to death back in d1 and for me it's just when i think of a hunter i think of this one of, of this chest piece i think of a certain helmet i think of a lot of pieces and for me this is just very hunter for the exotics stompies is a no choice because everyone knows stompies equals hunter and i didn't really want to like fight it or not use an exotic so i was like fuck it we'll use stompies because i know stompies is like the the major hunter piece that everyone thinks about and then for the cloak uh neoteric kiak cloak specifically because the back has a uh, a coyote which is from d1 a specific cloak from d1 and that's why i love it not only that for me it's just so cool because it has the scarf and the hood and the fur it's just for me speaks speaks hunter to me so i know this is very vague as fuck considering it's like oh well anything could be hunter if, if if someone like really thinks about it but i don't know for me it's like the prodigal vest is easily just because it's from d1 era and i think that arrow just had like really cool armor for hunters uh the luck sleeves like i said not only is the hunter insignia right there but i love how well it looks with the prodigal vest the aspiring challenger mask honestly because it just looks so hunter-esque is why i love it so much uh stompy just because it's very iconic to the to the point where people just want the exotic gone which is funny because it just makes you jump higher and then the only one that i could really switch out would be the ne neoteric kiak cloak just because as much as i love it and it is my actual like logo for my channel um i i just i don't know why i just want to keep it just because for me it just it just speaks hunter but i could also use another like uh, i could use other uh cloaks because i mean any cloak could be a hunter cloak if we really think about it but there are other cloaks that i would put in there but this is the one that i chose let me know what you guys think as for the next set i think this one's super super cool also utilizing a helmet from a previous guardian games i think this one was 2021 if i remember correctly and the contender mask i think is such a cool helmet this is such a dub of a helmet for me like it is such a hunter helmet i know I'm, i know I, I say that a lot but it's so good i think like when when hunters have like a helmet that has like just a pure visor on the face i think that really invokes a lot of hunter feel for me just because i don't know, we have a lot of those actually now that i think about it because we also have the lux helmet that has that the contender helmet which is this one right here we have a lot of helmets that are like this and i just feel like that also just speaks a lot to hunter uh for the arms aspiring challenger grips is the new one for this year and i actually really like it it's surprising to me because uh, i thought i wouldn't like it but i really really like it with this set because the actual green lines that you see on the arms are actually glows so that is really really cool and for the chest piece and the cloak we're using limitless immersion just because I don't like to combine the limitless subversion cloak without the chest piece just because it looks stupid because if you guys don't know I've already reviewed this by the way I have it right here and the individual pieces for hunter as well they're both right here but for me I'm not the biggest fan of the fact that the limitless subversion cloak has the like leather uh straps at the at the neck that actually is attached to the cloak not the chest piece so that is really unfortunate because it looks really dumb without the chest piece and then for the boots harden basilisk leg guards because when you start to see the, the this hunter like at the side it starts to really uh combine the image that i have in my head where you see a lot of purple but then you see green highlights and at the sides of the boots you see those green highlights so that's really where my head was going for this one 
uh, just because I was like, I want to use the arms, but I don't want to use an exotic with it just because I want to just use the arms as is. And then after that, we can start uh, mixing and matching some exotics in there. I would probably put stompies in here. Um, I don't know which I don't probably the pants ornament for it. Maybe it's just the fact that like, I really like how this looks as is. So if we ever have like a no exotic, uh, bow for PVP, I, this would probably be the set that I would wear. As for the chest piece aspiring challenger vest, I'm going to be real with you guys. I think this is a bop. I think this looks super, super cool. And we're using the aspiring challenger cloak, but in a different way, because I do use the cloak in another set. For this one, Omni Oculus Mask in combination with the Aspiring Challenger Cloak is so cool because you get that little uh, like neck cover thing, which is so cool. I'm very happy about that because we don't really have that a lot. We have a, we have one with another uh, with another cloak, but it's more like a scarf, not like this kind of it. I don't know. For me, this looks cool, especially when you combine it with the Aspiring Challenger because it kind of looks like it goes together. As for the exotic, we're going to be using one of the Aeons, and this one is cool because I, I've i done this look before, I guess you could say, where it's the helmet, the arms, and the boots. I just switched the cloak and the chest piece around. I don't remember. I think Actually, it was for the arc, for the Dynamo Current Strides uh, look that I made. I'll have it right here. But just switching out the things that I said, and I like this a lot more just because it gives you like that techno... Uh, techno mechanical look because obviously the arms and the boots have that like techno look but then i don't know like to me that's just how it feels i really really like this set it's also i think it's pretty funny too because i think i'm using the same shader as well Zato tribe really really good shader but for this one i didn't really think i didn't really want to think too hard on this one just because uh for me the chest piece is probably the weakest piece from the whole set and i probably haven't even mentioned this but i have reviewed the armor set already you guys can check it out right here um, I say in that video that just for me, the chest piece is the weakest portion of the whole thing because I think the boots is pretty cool and the cloak is really cool as well. For the boots, I, I'm going to be real with you guys. Now that I look at the boots, I don't remember saying they were really good. I remember saying I like them. To be fair, I don't remember what I said in that video, but from what I'm noticing it right now, it's just very unfortunate that the red and yellow don't change color on the knees. Other than that, I think it's fine. Like it's definitely cool. I would probably switch out the helmet, the shadows mask, just because now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, ah, eh, that, that helmet's fine. It's not bad. It's not like, um, it's not like, like insulting to my eyes, but I think a cloth helmet would have been better for this, which we do have like one or two for the helmet, obviously shadows mask with crucible peppermint because echo anger would just turn it red. And I didn't want that for the arms. We're going to be using, um, making your trick sleeve, which uh, I'm I like the set. I just don't ever use Mechaneer's trick sleeve. So I'm just like this is mostly for fashion Unless there's one or two people who use this exotic then go ham. I've made a few sets with Mechaneer's trick sleeve. So I mean, I like it. It, it looks cool It's just I think the exotic itself is just uh, dumb for the chest piece gumshoe gumption vest in combination with the aspiring challenger I think looks really really cool together. I love the the divorce of the pure white and then you get to the knees and it's just pure red i think that's super cool and when you combine it with the renegade hood it's like it fits so well together because it's like the middle's white and then the tips would be uh red with hints of white in there so i really like this set uh, surprisingly because uh now that i'm looking at the boots the yellow and red really pissed me off a little and i know some people won't like the how the boots take colors because it is kind of weird but overall let me know what you guys think and then last but not least, I think this is my best set so far. I've I've done a video about the 8000er in this video. I think I also reviewed uh, Frosties, I think. I don't remember off the top of my head. I do apologize. But yeah, if I did, I'll have both of them up, up right now. But I definitely have made an 8000er review for it. And I love this ornament. I think it's super cool for the Frosties. For the helmet, we're using street, Streetwise Mask because uh, snowboarding and Streetwise Grips because I want it. I want to have like, like not a, not a soldier look because that's clearly not what I'm going for, but kind of like a casual, um, casual snowboarding hunter, I guess. I don't know where my head goes for this, even though like my boots, I would not have, I don't know. It's so hard. It, like the aesthetic is I'm in the snow, like area, like, like a mountain with snow and I'm vibing. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. 
for the chest piece break tech combat vest i love to combine this with the 8000er just because um not only do you get a like a little difference on the chest piece in material but you also have that really cool like poncho looking thing at the top i think that's super cool and then when you combine it with the aspiring challenger cloak uh you have that like little neck uh cloth guard thing where it goes really well with the chest piece but you also have that really cool cloak or the hood where it's just kind of like like a hat uh i really like it i think it's super cool uh for the i think it's really cool so overall i think this might be my favorite just because it's super cool the only unfortunate part and i did mention this in the video of the review is the fact that the lines at the top of the helmet don't change color specifically the red and yellow lines and aspiring challenger cloak takes shaders really really terribly like polycarbon powder does not take have that gray color it's it's legitimately only white or red that cloth takes so this is just going to take shaders really really terribly and at that point you would probably just want to switch out that shader for something else so that is like really unfortunate because i like that cloak a lot surprisingly but yeah, let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming to this point. Let me know which one you, was your favorite. I am really liking this armor set. I know some people might not like the armor sets that we got this year, but I do think they're bangers. Not as much as last year's. Granted, last year's, I think we're just lightning in a bottle type shit because most of them were fucking great. But for me, I think they're not bad. I, I definitely love them. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming to this point. I already said this. I... Appreciate you guys. Be safe and I'll see you guys later.